Hi friends, so last night I couldn't sleep for like three hours, so this morning, needless to say, I ended up staying up, um, sleeping in late, and so, um, couldn't get out here to do more weeding and stuff that I wanted to do. However, I had enough time to harvest and water my plants. So I've got three eggs, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four Armenian cucumbers, one northern pickling, and some green onions that are overgrown, and some green beans, yard long beans, one okra. There are several other okra, but I'm going to wait for them to mature a little bit more. They're too tiny and tender. I want to wait till they're just a little bit bigger. Uh, same thing, the green beans, I was harvesting them too early, and now that they, they're longer and have a little bit more um, thickness, then um, this is a time to harvest them, because then when they have more of a bite, when you, when you eat them, they snap more. So, that's what I've been doing. Probably every other day harvesting is good, but I have a ton of green beans. I gave away some okra to some family members, and so um, I'm still getting a lot of produce every day. Hi friends, this is my harvest for Monday the 14th of August. I've got a ton of Armenian cucumbers, a regular cucumber. I think this is the Ashley variety some okra, a handful of them. You know, boy, you miss a day and <laughs> look what you get. It's humongous compared to the little itty bitty one here. And then a handful of strawberries and some green beans. Um, I don't have as many green beans because I'm waiting for them to be longer and thicker. So normally I, I had picked them about three quarters of the size but and then not as thick but I think it has better crunch when you wait just a day more. Hi friends I just want to show you how productive a garden can be so if you leave this Armenian cucumber plant alone I mean in just a day or so it has so many fruit so here's one another, that's two, a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, I harvested two already today, that makes seven, I know I saw some more in here, eight, Back there, there's another one, nine. There's another one right there. I should harvest that. It's ten. So it just keeps giving, which I love. Although still producing, my green beans seem to be slowing down. So I have all these little itty bitty ones and at first I was harvesting them when they were skinny like this but they didn't have any substance to them so I'm waiting for them to get thicker and longer so they have more substance. So um, I don't know if that's making it seem like the production is less because it takes another day or two more to mature. So. But it's still making flowers, it's still producing, it just seems slower to me. Um, so there's still quite a few, oops, quite a few on my plant. Lots of blooms. And my okra just shot up so quick. This is the emerald green. This is now about three and a half feet tall. Some okras all over, but <clears throat> really, really tall. I 
and then my chili peppers are getting shaded out by the okra on this side and by the tomatoes on that side so here they are in this plot and I'm not sure what to do with them they are finally starting to blossom and there are a few chilies so I'm just hoping that it'll bear some fruit before the end of the season which I think it has time yet the cucumelons are growing like crazy except I only see like two fruit from there <laughs> I see a lot of um, the blossoms but I'd like to see a lot more fruit and I've got some tomatoes that that are coming up they were the last ones to be transplanted into the ground so they were struggling a bit some more tomatoes some are getting diseased, like that one. It looks really bad. And I'm kind of keeping it separate from the other tomatoes. I should probably remove it, but it's making a new growth down there. But it, does, it doesn't look very healthy either. Some green beans over here. So I soaked the seeds earlier in the year. These are pole beans. And I didn't know what to do with them, so I just decided, okay, I'll just stick it in here because I had no place to put them in. This bed was empty. It was meant for bulbs, but that didn't happen. So I just threw them in here. Here's my other okra bed, and it makes me okra, but it's slowed down also. So this Clemson spineless I planted first, and it started producing a ton of... Um, fruit and I would get them when they're about two inches or three three inches long and then I decided to let them mature just a little longer just so that they get bigger but not get hard and woody and for some reason they bolted up in height by like twice as long as twice as tall as they were but they're not creating as many okra and then the okra that I'm having there I'm letting them sit they're sitting here a little bit longer so they're here an extra day or two more than I would so maybe it's the um, not harvesting them as frequently that's making me think that they are not producing as much but they still are and it's really green and still pretty healthy so I'm not too concerned um, and I do accumulate a bunch of okra and then I cook with it after a few days and I've given away a batch of okra to uh, family and I've given away beans, green beans to other family members. Here are some more, uh, these are bush beans and they're finally starting to have flowers. So I had pulled out the onions from here and garlic and stuff and I didn't know what to put in here so it's been uh, a few, like about a month, so a month and a half. So here I planted a bunch of green beans so for the winter season I'll be set on green beans. There we go, the okra, more green beans and tomatoes and, and up there are some, down there are some tomatoes. Up there are some Kajari melons and cucumelons and cantaloupe. Down there are some chili peppers of different varieties. Another huge okra bed. And then the yard long beans. So in my last video I had shown these Kajari melon vines climbing up my chicken run and it was doing fantastic and growing and looking beautiful and suddenly it must be like some kind of possum or something that just kind of like climbs up on this um, hardware cloth and it just nibbles and nibbles on the stems as they're growing up so they've all been destroyed they've chewed on one of my melons over here and several in fact because they chew on the little baby ones as well giving them no chance to grow really look at this cute little cucumelon 
it even has stripes on it so cute so here's another one that's been nibbled on it's really really frustrating and what I did was I started wrapping them with um, that mesh from when you buy fruit <clears throat> so I have been buying cantaloupe on my own as well And then to this side of the run, the chicken run, is the corn. So just to get give you an idea of how I grow densely, some volunteer nectarine or peach trees or something like that. Not sure, unknown. My donut peach. This used to be a, <clears throat> a garden bed by the fire ring and some of the things have died out so it's time to replenish this pretty soon and um, right next to it I have some pineapple sage which I threw in there because at one point I was going to split it off and give it to my sister but I, did, I wanted to give it a chance to root so I'm going to have to do that um, soon. Whenever I have spare seeds, I'll throw them in various places for succession planting. So here's some okra that has grown. This is my third batch of okra. Um, I kind of planted it all over around this, the periphery here. And only a, a few took because the conditions weren't completely right, I guess. Here is my lettuce leaf basil. And this must be, I thought this was lettuce leaf as well, but I don't know if the nut nutrition in the soil is not very good. I'm not sure. This was a cucumber that's kind of struggling. It seems to be working with the um, mesh around the fruit. Keeps it from falling and getting chewed on. This is my new batch of sunflowers. This is the red sun. I love the red color in the center. Really gorgeous. Love it, love it. I'm gonna grow some more um, to feed the birds and I guess the squirrels, which I really, really loathe because they keep eating my fruit. But hopefully they will focus on the sunflowers and not my other plants. Hi friends, let me show you what it's like when you have almost a full day of rain, just just drizzling and everything. As you know, Southern California had its first hurricane or storm, if you would like to call it. So this is how much water we gathered. This full 150-gallon uh, tank trough. Two of these, um, two of these 65 gallon, two of these 65 gallon containers. Here's the other one. All of our plants, this fell over. Um, some of the vines from this Armenian cucumber were hanging on this plant, this fennel. And now it's kind of drooped down. Um, lots of just a bunch of um, containers that I found from inside the house to catch as much water as possible. Um, that's the new garden bed that I prepared. My son pulled out the weeds and then um, roughed up the soil and I added a bag of soil. I think I might have to add another and I'm going to sow seeds today in there since it's nice and wet from the rains for me. I didn't have time to harvest the Armenian cucumber yesterday and the day before I felt like it wasn't yet ready and then the day before that I, it was like little and <laughs> I can't believe how big this is. This is the size of like um, a zucchini or something. And in fact, 
Armenian cucumbers are in the family of uh, melons, the melon family. So here are some, here are some smaller ones and a bigger one, another big one and another one and some other ones, plenty of them. So I'm going to have to go in here and look for them. Here is my enclosure that consists of the green beans, the okra, the chili peppers, more okra, lots of green beans again, some tomatoes, and I didn't get to harvest them also yesterday. Oh my goodness, these are so long. This green bean here, and quite the girth. Oh my gosh, these are the longest batch just because I skipped two days or three days of not harvesting them. I can't wait to see the okra. Oh my gosh. They look giant. Look at that okra right there. And there's two okras right there. If you can see them. Massive. Lots of green beans. Gonna just pick out the big ones and the mammoth um, basil got really big. Here's an okra. There's a couple okras that are ready. <laughs> They're so big. I gotta get them today or else they'll be tough tomorrow. And let's see how much. Um, for some reason, my cantaloupe is not growing very much. It's kind of staying the same size. I guess that's what happens when you're a home grower. It doesn't get quite as big as, you know, other growers do. Um, my flowers are looking kind of sad after being, you know, doused all day. Poor chickens, they're run because of the wind. It drew in a lot more water into their run than usual. Here I'm giving them some strawberries that got a little bit dried up in the fridge. And here's a rose starting to bloom. Took a bit of preparation getting all my buckets um, unstacked and all kinds of stuff to catch water. So, but I'm happy. So it is still sprinkling, and I said um, I think that the forecast said it could rain into Monday, but then um, it then it said it was going to be hardly any rain on Monday, and then now it's it's quite cloudy. Look at this beautiful sunflower. Oh, it's drooped over because of all the excess moisture, but love it. It had a reddish tinge and now it's kind of a brownish looking tinge. So now the sky is starting to drizzle down on us. So I'm going to have to go in and do my harvesting a little bit later. And this is the food forest and everything is just soaked up. My mulch has tons of moisture in it. I won't have to water for the next three to seven days. Hi friends, so this is a harvest from about two and a half or three days worth of uh, produce that I did not pick out of the garden because at first, the first day I thought they weren't big enough or uh, had enough girth and substance so I let them grow longer and bigger. And same with the okra, the green beans. Um, even the Armenian cucumbers weren't that large. Then the next day we had that hurricane. So when just as I was about to pick the produce, it started sprinkling and then raining. So I just decided to go inside and let it have an extra day to grow bigger. <laughs> and this morning when I filmed the garden as it was, everything was still moist uh, and you know, the ground and everything was soaked and saturated. Um, I didn't have time 
um, had to run an errand so I didn't get a chance to harvest them so this evening I harvested them and these green beans are so long and it's like two handfuls two fan handfuls of green beans it's there's so much that you can't you don't see it all here but it's a lot and um, this would make like two meals or three and then um, the okra and then all this Armenian cucumber and this is a great cucumber because the other cucumbers are starting to die off but this is still producing and, and strong and it still is surviving and lush despite that cold weather but of course it was just one day and it although it was raining it was very very humid and muggy so um, so a lot of these vegetables still have the conditions and temperatures that they need and thank goodness it only lasted one day so I went about covering all my vessels I counted I had about a thousand gallons of water saved so I'm so happy I'm gonna be watering my plants with the rainwater which is better water it's soft water and hope to get even more harvest for the next couple uh, months to come till mid October or late October even into November our first our frost date I think is like mid December but of course these will die off by then for sure but I'm gonna harvest as much as I can now I didn't get to a chance to harvest my strawberries on the green stock tower um, as it has gotten dark so I'll do that tomorrow and see if I have anything to harvest tomorrow or wait a couple days again or harvest every other day but I have plenty of food here more food than I can use in fact for the family for a week in in this harvest here thank you for watching and also I wanted to send you a message of if you set up for for uh, abundance you know then you will definitely acquire abundance and that's what I have here proof of that because for several years now we've been collecting all kinds of troughs and rain barrels and cisterns to gather gain ra rain water we've been slowly buying different things over time good soil uh, hardware cloth um, green stock towers all kinds of stuff chickens investing in our chickens and making their chicken coop and chicken run sorry about that that sounds my ice maker it's so hot and humid today the day after a hurricane it's still pretty hot um, I just had the fan on but I turned it off to to have to make this video so yeah as long as you keep trying to set up for abundance and success eventually you'll get there Thank you and have a great day. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and feel free to contact me if you have any questions.